up guys welcome to top form for you and um, in today's video i'm gonna show you uh, the easy way to uh, install uh, google play services if you have your huawei MatePad pro uh, upgraded to the latest emui version the version it's a uh, mrx w09 and it's on the latest uh, firmware build 101018 so uh, when I try to run uh, the LZ play, you get this error, which means uh, the device not supported. So uh, click here to exit. So once it's up that, it's closed. So the best way and the best uh, fix for you is to downgrade to an older uh, EMUI build and then install the Google Play services. And once uh, you have a Play Store installed and, and working, yeah, then you can uh, upgrade uh, the firmware to the latest one and Google services will still be working So uh, for this I'm gonna leave a, a link for all the file you're gonna need to download to do the downgrade and uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description for you to download it so you can get your Huawei MatePad Pro um, With the uh, Google services. So to get started, I'm just gonna connect the uh, tablet to my PC and uh, I'll take you through the process. Okay, once uh, you download the folder, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you you get this folder here with the uh, high suit. Just uh, install this into your PC. And then you're gonna need the USB-C uh, to connect uh, your tablet to the PC or laptop. So I'm just gonna go through the installation process. Okay, that has now uh, finished uh, installing. So I'm just gonna click on start to start the application. Now uh, I'm just gonna connect uh, the tablet uh, using the USB-C cable. So you just uh, tap on, uh, once you get that uh, prompt, you just tap transfer file. And then uh, all you need to do just uh, from here, just to go to the settings. And then on the search box at the top, just search for HDB. And then uh, tap on the second one, you can see there. Then all you need to do just allow a connection via HDB and then close the app now go back onto the uh, uh, the tablet then just tap on always allow and then tap on ok then wait for a sec then uh, you'll get this prompt because it will install uh, the ISO app on the tablet just tap on that just uh, open the app and then uh, just do next then agree allow allow all the prompts and then you get this uh, code at the bottom so you need to tap that code on your laptop and then uh, click on connect allow. There you go, so the tablet is now uh, connected to the uh, uh, to the laptop, so uh, all you need to do just go on to system and update and then uh, it's already on the latest firmware, so just switch to other version uh, uh, below the firmware and then just to restore before you do that, make sure you back up all your files and uh, images because it will format your tablet. Everything will be wiped off. So make sure you back up all your stuff before you proceed to the next step. So I'm just going to click on restore. Uh, it will get a warning to tell you that everything will be cleared uh, of the tablet just to ease you. And then allow. So uh, now it's gonna download uh, the firmware and uh, once it's downloaded, it will restore the tablets with the older firmware. 
so uh, I'm just gonna pause the video once it's finished downloading and then uh, I'll be back so uh, that has now finished uh, downloading as you can see there so it's gonna start the installation process once it's finished installing and then uh, I'll take you through how you can install Google Play services and then update it to the latest firmware as well so uh, that has now finished uh, downloading so the tablet will just restart and uh, completed the formatting okay um we're back on now um so uh, let me just check as you can see there yeah it's gone back now to 10177 so i'm gonna put it on the wi-fi and uh, show you how you can uh, install the google play store okay we're now connected to the wi-fi so uh Okay, I'm just gonna go and download the, the APK file to install the, the Google services. I'm just gonna go and download the APK file. So that's uh, now downloading. Once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna go quickly through the installation. If you want a detailed view, make sure you check my other video. I'll leave a link in the description below, which will show you step-by-step step, um, how to install Google Play Store on the version 10.01.177. So once it's finished downloading, I'm just gonna fast forward to the, through the installation. That has now finished. Uh, Download I'm just gonna say allow then install Done. then let's go back on the main screen then uh, just gonna need to open Google Drive. As you can see now we can run the uh, LZ play no problem Okay, there you go. So uh, now we have uh, Google Play Store installed and working. No errors. Uh, all the errors have uh, gone now. So uh, 
if you want a more slow step-by-step -step, uh, um, guide how to install Google Play services once uh, you downgrade just uh, check my other video or I'll leave uh, a link in the description below for you to check it out so uh, now we have uh, Play Store installed and working the next step I'm gonna do I'm just gonna update it to the latest uh, EMUI build and uh, as you can see um, from my other video as well um, the Play Store should work fine so uh, let's proceed to the updates When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times. Okay, hey, well, now it's uh, back on. Let's uh, try uh, Play Store again. So I'm just gonna install uh, another app. So there you go, as you can see, everything is working fine, uh, Google Play Store is working, no errors, and uh, the tablet has been updated to the latest EMUI version, I'm just going to check for an update. Yeah, so it's now running on 10.1.0.180, and uh, Google services installed and working fine. So once, uh, if your tablet is already on your latest uh, EMUI build and uh, you need to install Play, so uh, Play Store or you need to do just downgrade uh, to older uh, firmware and then install Play Store. Once you finish installing Play Store, then you can just uh, update uh, to the latest one and Google Play services would work fine okay so uh, that's it from me um if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with uh, your friends and uh, if you're new to my channel don't forget to uh, subscribe and enable notification for my latest video thank you for watching keep safe and uh, i'll see you on the next one